man who was shot outside a local mosque has died. The shooting prompted an hours-long standoff after the gunman was seen running into a nearby home. They're still searching for him tonight. Ralph Iannotti is live with more. Ralph. Thanks very much, Susan. Tonight, Allegheny County Police are in charge of this case, which has now turned into a homicide investigation. And the main clue we're aware of, a description of a shirt the suspect was wearing. An emotional scene outside the Mohammed Mosque in Wilkinsburg, near the spot where a 26-year-old man was shot and critically wounded by the corner of Cold Street and South Avenue. A neighbor administered first aid to the victim before paramedics arrived. But the man died of his wounds Friday evening at the hospital. My heart goes out to the family, the victim, and I just pray like nothing like this happens again. Brandon Thomas works at a group home across the street from the mosque. He told me he didn't know the victim personally, but he would often see him outside. He was out here every day with his people, with his brother, and doing, doing what, you know, normal Church, church people do, you Sell know. Paper sometimes. Sell paper sometimes, oils, um, like um, just just very very kind-hearted people. After the shooting, first Wilkinsburg police, then an Allegheny County SWAT team surrounded a nearby three-story apartment building, looking for the gunman who fled the mosque area on foot. Multiple witnesses saw a black male wearing a red shirt and dark pants running from the scene just after the shooting. That man was observed trying to enter a vacant apartment building uh, about two blocks from the area. The Wilkinsburg police surrounded the building and requested the Allegheny County Police SWAT team. The heavily armed officers secured the apartment building and then went from the basement to the third floor looking for the possible suspect. Then around six o'clock the all clear signal was given with no sign of the gunman. And tonight we're still waiting for the victim's name to be released by the county medical examiner's office. We're live tonight at County Police Headquarters. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.